Hey guys, so today I'll be showing you how to make this really cool wide open bracelet. And this bracelet is my own original design, and this is super easy. And it only requires one loom, but it does have a single chain extension. So if you have two looms, you can just attach those two together and you won't need to make the extension. And if you make it on one loom, you'll have six of these circles. And if you make it on two full looms, you will have 12. But maybe you only want to use nine, so that would be one and a half looms. And this has a similar band placement process to the Pentalock bracelet and the Starburst bracelet. But when you finish it, it looks totally different. So let's get started. So the supplies you will need are your loom, your hook, some rubber bands, and a C-clip. Today I'll be using rubber bands in the colors orange, gold, and these three shades of pink. The orange bands will represent the rose jelly bands or the border bands. The gold bands will represent these star bands and the three shades of pink will represent these circle bands here. So let's get started. We're going to start off by laying our border bands. So I'm just going to get my orange bands and I'm just going to lay them. I'm just going to lay it out to the side and then I'm going to lay it out to the side again and then I'm going to lay it up like that and I'm going to do that all the way up the loom. And I'm going to stop at the second last, last peg and then I'm going to go back down to the bottom and start again on the other side. Just like that. And then on these last pegs, I'm just going to put it in and put it in like that. So your loom should look something like this. And now we're going to start laying our next bands. So my next bands are going to be my star bands, which in my case is gold. So I'm just going to grab my gold bands and I'm just going to put them down up to the side just like that so it's kind of like a starburst but it's only like on four pegs so I'm going to show you this again so we're going to now skip a peg and then I'm going to go to the side like that that like that. So basically I'm starting on this peg and then going clockwise. So I'm just going to again skip a peg. So in total you should have six of these stars I guess. Just like that. And now we're going to go back to the bottom once again. And then we're going to take two of our pink bands or the circle bands, I guess. And then we're just going to put two of them in the center here. Just like that. And I'm going to do that to all the center stars and I'm just going to put them on the center of the star on all of them. So you're going to take two bands, 
place them on. Two bands. Place them on. Two bands. Two bands. And two bands. Just like that. And I'm going to carefully turn my loom around. And then I'm just going to put a cap band on this peg. Just like that. And now we can start the hooking process. So first I'm going to hook my stars. So basically, this is just like a starburst. I'm going to go inside of my pink bands. And I'm just going to grab the top band and make sure to hold down the pink bands because they're very loose. And I'm just going to hook that out to the side. I'm going to go inside again. And then I'm going to take the top band and hook it to, whoops. Okay, so that happens. It's okay, you just have to put both of the bands back. It just means that the first band you hook wasn't the first wasn't the top band. So if that happens, it's okay. It happens to me all the time, honestly, all the time. So I'm just going to do that again. So I'm just going to take the top band, hook it to the side, the top band, hook it to the side. And you can tell it's the top band if it doesn't bring along any other bands except for the pink bands. So I'm just going to do that like that. And then I'm just going to do that to all of the stars. And if your top circle bands ever fall off, it's okay, you just have to put them back on. They're very loose, so it's very easy for them to fall off. Just like that. And now I'm going to go back to the bottom and your circle band should now be looking sort of rectangular almost, but that's okay. And now we're just going to hook our border bands. So we're going to go inside of the cap band. And then we're just going to take the top band. Make sure you only grab one band. So I'm just going to take the top band and hook it like that. And if your cap band falls off, it's okay. Just grab it and put it back onto the peg. And then we're going to do the same to the other side, just like that. And basically now all we're going to do is just hook it up like you would in any other full loom bracelet. So I'm just going to again hook it up, hook it up. I'm not going to hook that in just yet. There we go. And then I'm just going to do the same on the other side.
And now I'm going to hook these two in. So I'm going to actually hook the left side first, and then I'm going to hook the right side, just like that. And now we're pretty much done. So we're just going to take off our bracelet, and we're going to take all the bands off except for the ones on this peg, because that's where all the loose bands are. And I'm just going to hook them up, or you can just tear your bracelet off the loom if that's the kind of person you are. This bracelet doesn't really need that much care, I guess, when you're taking it off because the bands are just very loose and they're single chains. So you don't really need to use your hook. So I'm just using my fingers now. Just like that. So it should look something like this. And now I'm going to make my single chain. So I'm just going to take an orange band and I'm just going to stick my hook through all the bands here. And I'm just going to hook that orange band up. And then I'm just going to take this off. And then I'm just going to make my single chain so I'm just doing it on a hook. So you just basically pull it through like that. Just like that, and now we're just going to take our C-clip. And I'm just going to take it off my hook. And I'm basically, I'm just going to slip my C-clip on. And then I'm just going to attach my bracelet. Just like that. So there you have your finished wide open bracelet. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!